The yellow tang is one of the most popular fish in the saltwater aquarium. They're also easy to find, and relatively inexpensive. Their bright yellow color is very attractive, and many beginning aquarium hobbyists enjoy watching them graze on algae in large saltwater tanks. It's important to be aware, however, that yellow tang can be aggressive, are prone to the fish disease called itch, and may damage coral in your reef tank. Origin and Distribution Even though the yellow tang is considered endemic to Hawaiian waters, its distribution extends from the Hawaiian area, including Johnston Island, westward through the northern Marshall Islands to Wake, Marcus Guam, and other Marianas Islands. The habitat of this fish is from inside the reef out to depths of 100 feet or more. The larger specimens seem to stay in the shallow waters near the reef, while the juveniles usually prefer the deeper waters, where finger corals are present. A vast majority of the yellow tang collected for aquarium use are harvested from the Kona, west, coast on the Big Island of Hawaii. The easterly currents that flow up the west side of the Big Island from the nutrient-rich depths of the Pacific Ocean provide the perfect environment for breeding and growing this pelagic fish. During its earlier years, this fish prefers the company of other yellow tang, and has a tendency to follow other yellow tangs, and can actually be herded like sheep under the right conditions. They prefer to reside in staghorn coral fields at depths above 50 feet, where they can find easy cover from predators and plenty of easy access to green algae which is their preferred food. Colors and Markings Yellow tang start life as clear larvae, before developing their distinctive narrow, oval-shaped, bright yellow body. They have long snouts and seven fins including their spiny dorsal and anal fins. They also have a sharp white spine on both sides of their tails which they can use to fight or defend themselves. Surprisingly, yellow tang actually changes color over the course of the day. During the daylight hours, yellow tangs are bright yellow all over except along their spines. At night, their color changes to a dark, grayish yellow with a white lateral stripe. The yellow tang is covered in mucus, which it secretes from its skin. The mucus forms a protective layer that keeps away parasites and bacteria. The mucus also makes the yellow tang's body less resistant to the water, so it can swim faster. Tank mates. In general, this fish does get along well with other fishes in an aquarium, but it can be aggressive towards other yellow tang and surgeon fish if they are not introduced into the aquarium at the same time. If your tank size will allow you to include several of these fish, you will be entertained by their lazy, follow the leader patterns in and through live rock arrangements. Yellow tang can be included in a marine reef tank setup, but do keep a close eye on them. While they do graze on algae, they may also damage some species of coral. Aggressive behavior can also be an issue. Yellow tang habitat and care. Yellow tang needs plenty of space and to explore every part of the tank. It is a hardy, strong fish and is fairly easy to care for. However, it is a fish that is prone to contracting saltwater itch diseases and possibly head and lateral line erosion. The itch factor makes it a less than ideal choice for a beginner just starting or cycling a tank because stress is greatly related to these diseases. Use caution when handling this fish, as the white razor spur near the tail area is very sharp and can cause cuts or injury. Yellow Tang Diet This fish is an herbivore, grazing on algae and other plant life. It is best kept in an aquarium that has good algae growth, where in turn they earn their keep by helping to keep the algae growth cropped. It will feed on the nori, other green vegetable matter and vitamin-enriched flakes, but may nibble at dried shrimp and other meaty fares as well. Use a lettuce clip or place the nori under a rock or piece of coral. This mimics its natural feeding habits. In the wild, its lifestyle is one of constant cruising and grazing. If you want to be sure the yellow tang maintains its beautiful color, avoid feeding it meat. You can, however, feed it vegetables such as zucchini, broccoli, and lettuce. Sexual Differences Male and female yellow tang look very similar. When mating, however, males change color and have a shimmering behavior which makes them identifiable. Breeding of the yellow tang. In the wild, yellow tang travel alone or in loose schools and spawn around the time of the full moon. Yellow tangs are group spawners, but it is extremely difficult to breed these fish in captivity. Only since 2015 have researchers managed to keep a group of juvenile yellow tang alive past the larval stage. This achievement has significant potential for increasing the availability of pet yellow tang, natural habitat of the yellow tang. Yellow tangs live in subtropical waters from the western coast of Hawaii to the eastern coast of Japan. Their main population is found in Hawaii, where they have the honor as the only solid yellow fish spotted out on the reefs. This is probably why their Hawaiian name yellow tea leaf. Most wild-caught yellow tangs come from the Kona region of Hawaii. They inhabit coral reefs in shallow waters near the continental shelf, hanging out in small schools. They live lower in the water column, where the water is calmer. 
juvenile yellow tangs tend to live deeper and farther from the reefs, where it's safer for them to grow and develop. This is due to their clear larval stage. As part of the plankton, they hang out in the deepest part of the oceans. They don't shift closer to shallower coral reefs until they mature into adults. As you can see in the image above, I was fortunate to see shoals of yellow tang off the coast of the big island of Hawaii during a dive. They're one of the smallest of the surgeon fish, and the shoals provide additional defense for them. At night, they'll divide and find their own crevices, to hide in for the night. Yellow tangs have historically been Hawaii's largest fish export. They made up 80% of all fish caught for the aquarium trade. In 1990, fish replenishment areas were set up off the Kona coast, preventing fish collection for aquarium sales in 30% of the area. Currently, the yellow tang population is listed as stable with no shortage of specimens in the areas where the collection is allowed. The yellow tang will likely remain one of the most popular saltwater fish, as long as legislation allows. Yellow tang compatibility. Yellow tangs are popular community fishes, even though they have a semi-aggressive temperament. Generally speaking, they can and will get along with most other community saltwater aquarium fish. Although you should expect some squabbling over territories in food. Algae isn't always in plentiful supply. And while yellow tangs order from the herbivore side of the menu, they are surgeon fish. That means they're not above flaring those spines to clear off the competition. As with any fish with a mean streak, you need to consider the order you add them to the tank. Any fish added after the yellow tang are more likely to receive the brunt of that aggressive streak. As such, always make these tangs last in. This way, they can't set up a territory in advance. Then you'll have a well-behaved ray of sunshine. Yellow tangs display aggression by flaring their fins and swimming sideways or backward toward the target fish. This shows off their size, what there is of it, and flexes the sharp white scalpel near their tail. Sometimes the display is a non-violent threat, providing enough warning for the target fish to head out of the area. Other times, they give the rival a whack with their scalpel. And it can inflict a serious wound. In my experience with yellow tangs, they get along most of the time with almost all other fish. But occasionally, you get that one fish your tang just can't stand for some reason. Then they may chase, harass, bully and even slash the other fish. Generally, it isn't recommended to have more than one surgeon fish in an aquarium, and that goes for yellow tangs too. There are many reports from people successfully keeping three or more, but it requires special planning to avoid problems. If you plan to introduce more than one surgeon fish into your tank, it's best to add them all at the same time. And start them as juveniles. That way, no fish gets the chance to establish the tank as theirs before anyone else. They can then establish a pecking order naturally and peacefully coexist. Don't bank on it working perfectly every time, though. It can end badly. Just take a look at that image above. Luckily, yellow tangs are reef compatible and will won't nip at the fleshy polyps of corals. Still, some bold individuals may harm corals by disturbing them too often due to aggressive feeding. To clarify, the tangs are eating algae, not the corals but they sometimes upset the apple cart in their zest for their vegan meal. So, today we are looking for some details about yellow tang. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos.